Hi, I'm Courtney Swain, the Family and Consumer Science Agent at North Carolina Cooperative Extension here in Stanley County. Welcome to the Cooking with Courtney show. Once a month, I'll be coming on the air to bring you budget-friendly family recipes. Today in the kitchen, we are going to make a recipe from the Cook Smart, Eat Smart cookbook written by North Carolina Cooperative Extension. Today we're going to make oven fried Parmesan chicken. It's a fast, healthy recipe that you and your family can enjoy. It is a heart healthy recipe and since we're in the month of February and it's heart health month, we are going to try and spotlight our recipes on that today. Before we get started, the best thing we can do is wash our hands. Especially because we'll be working with raw chicken today, we always want to make sure we wash our hands. Alright, so before we get started with any recipe, we always want to read the instructions first so that we make sure we have all the ingredients and all the supplies that we need. So today for the oven fried Parmesan chicken, we will be, well, we'll need four boneless chicken breasts. And actually because it's a little cheaper and it was on sale at the grocery store, I got chicken tenders instead of chicken breast. We need one cup of non-fat plain yogurt. You're probably wondering why we need plain yogurt. We'll get to that in a second. We need three-fourths cup of breadcrumbs, four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of just an all-purpose flour, and then one teaspoon of paprika to give it a little color, and then one, or excuse me, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and then non-stick cooking spray. All right, so it tells us to preheat our oven at 425 before we get started to make sure our oven's ready to go and our chicken's ready to go in. So I've already got that started for us. And it tells us to go ahead and spray the cookie sheet with non-stick cooking spray. So we'll go ahead and get that started. And I lined my cookie sheet with foil. Just makes a little easier cleanup and I'm all about an easy cleanup, especially on a busy evening. So the first thing we're going to do is get our chicken breast ready. And one thing that a lot of people think it's okay to do, but it, it's really not, um, we should not wash our chicken before we get ready to prepare it because that has a tendency to fling that nasty chicken juice all over your kitchen, causing bacteria to build up. So we want to make sure we just leave it the way it is. I've already got it in a bowl. And we have our um, one cup of non-fat plain yogurt. And this takes the place of uh, egg whites or egg when, we're when we normally do fried chicken. So we're just going to drench it in that. We're going to mix it around in there. And you want to coat it really well, just like if it were your traditional egg, and this just gives it a little bit lower fat, little lower calories for us. But it actually makes our chicken pretty moist because of the yogurt. All right, I think we've got that coated pretty well. We're just going to put that in the refrigerator to kind of marinate while we get the rest of our ingredients ready. All right, so now we're on to the next the dry ingredients. So we're going to go back over here to our instructions and it tells us to in medium bowl mix the rest of the ingredients. So we'll go ahead and start with the three-fourths cup dried breadcrumbs. Well I guess we know they're dried. Then we, um, we need the Parmesan cheese which is four tablespoons. Then two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of paprika. Paprika doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It, it's just got a tiny bit of a mild flavor, but it does give it a little color. And the cayenne pepper, you can, your pinch can be huge or it can be little, depending on how much spice you like. I prefer not too much spice, so mine is just a little pinch. We're going to just mix that up. And 
And one thing I always like to do when I'm cooking is clean up as I go so that at the end of the end of supper you can have an easy cleanup and it's quick and easy for you and your family. So we are going to take our chicken out. Here comes the messy part. And we've already washed our hands. We're going to get our cookie sheet ready to go. Bring that a little closer so we don't have to walk all over the kitchen. Let's see here. Okay. I'm going to do it this way. Just line them up in the order so that it's easy to transfer on there. We're going to put those in the breadcrumbs. And one thing you can do that makes it a little easier, instead of using bowls so that you don't have to wash those, you can actually use plastic baggies, gallon-sized plastic baggies, while you coat them so that you can just throw them in the trash and it makes it a lot easier for cleanup. So we want to make sure we coat those really good because most of us really like the breading part of chicken. And when we think fried, we typically think over the stove with a whole bunch of oil. And we all know that's not good for our hearts. This just makes it still that crunchy, crispy taste without all those calories and extra fat. And one thing when we talk about heart health as well is salt or sodium. We don't want there to be a whole lot of sodium in things. We, our bodies do need sodium to regulate that water and get things through our body, but we don't need a ton of it. And most Americans, most of us, eat way too much of it. All right, we're almost finished with this. All right. You can see your hands get a little messy. We're going to have to wash them again, especially after we've just handled raw chicken. So we don't want to spread that bacteria. And one helpful hint, um, after you've ate supper and your family, hopefully you're enjoying some quality time talking at the dinner table, you want to make sure you get your stuff in the refrigerator within two hours. Otherwise, that's when that the foodborne illnesses start to come out, and we don't, we don't want to get sick when you have leftovers and eat it the next day. Okay, well you can see my hands are a little messy. I'm going to come over here and wash them real quick. And now it tells us to go ahead and spray it with cooking spray. Some of you might think, oh, that's probably not too tasty, but it actually is pretty good. And it's just going to give it that crispy brown look to it that we all like when it comes to fried chicken. You just want to lightly spray that. And remember, we've preheated our oven to 425. So we're going to put that in our oven. And while that's baking, oh, excuse me, forgot a step there. We want to put our timer to 20 minutes. And while that's in the oven, we can um, make sure we get our side dishes ready to go. So I've already prepared some rice and this is just an easy boxed rice and it's, I just bought the lower sodium one. It's the chicken flavor. Pretty inexpensive. I think it was 75 cents for the box um, and very easy to get that going while your chicken's in the oven. And something that we always need to remember are our vegetables. I've gone ahead and prepared a salad for us to enjoy with our chicken and rice as well. In some, a few tidbits of information, you want to just break apart your, um, your lettuce rather than chop it, because that's when it starts to turn brown. Well, nobody likes brown lettuce, we just want to tear it. And something I do to save money, I buy a head of lettuce instead of the already 
pre-washed, pre-cut lettuce because it saves me about a dollar to two dollars depending on what type of lettuce you get. You just have to make sure you wash this really well so that any dirt or bugs that may be on it, because it does grow in the ground like most vegetables, we want to make sure we wash that. And a salad spinner, spinner comes in very handy for that. And something else that keeps it fresh and nice looking, especially when you're going to a party, you just want to lay your other toppings on top and then mix it when you're actually ready to get ready to serve it, because that helps it from wilting and getting brown. So in it, it's very appeasing to the eye. All right, do you hear that? I think it's our timer. Here's our oven fried Parmesan chicken. And does anybody know what temperature we need to make sure our chicken gets up to? Oh, thought you never asked. We have to make sure the internal temperature gets up to 165 degrees to make sure that our, all the bacteria is out of there. And these, like I said, are chicken tenders. And they were a little less expensive than the chicken breast today. Oh, we are great. We're up to 170. We've surely killed off everything at this point. All right, so here we go. Ready to serve this up for our families. And you always want to make sure you lift that away from your face so that you don't get steam burnt. We'll stir that up a little bit before we put it on our plate. And portion control is the best way to make sure that we don't overeat. I know that's really hard, especially when you have something that smells so good like this. And a good dressing is a nice light um, vinegar-based dressing or ranch, if that's, what you, if that's what you prefer. A little bit is okay. So I hope you enjoyed cooking with Courtney today, and we will be back next month with a another family-friendly, budget-friendly meal. And I would really like to take this time to thank Stanley Community College for being here and filming Cooking with Courtney today. Thank you. See you next time.